um, YouTube tutorial I spoke about using masks to kind of bring detail back. So here I have a quite, it's not very harsh, it's quite light sketch I did, um, but I want to make the background white. So I'm going to go through the procedure briefly about making the background white, but if you want a more detailed thing, you ought to, um, I'll link my other one below, my other video tutorial. Um, so basically, um, because, um, so I'm going to drag mine this way until I think the background's pretty white, which is quite white about here. Um, but as you can see, it's like really washed out my drawing. I've lost a lot of detail. Um, so basically, um, here then you would proceed as well to check that your background's actually white by bringing up a threshold layer. It's because I've also duplicated that layer as well. I am going to oh, merge this layer down so that I have now you have your white background and your good drawing underneath. Um, it might be worth like relabeling this. Um, then you want to duplicate this background layer again and um, maybe save it as drawing. And now, so um, a mask it basically, when I paint in black, it reveals the layer underneath, and then if I painted in white, it would. And then I'm gonna make my paintbrush a bit bigger. Um, but basically, then you can just paint back the detail you've lost. Um, I mean, it's not like massively noticeable, but you can kind of see um, what it's doing. Um, it's quite discreet, but I can then bring back my thing and keep the white background. I often do this um, with a lot of my sketches. Um, maybe I'll be, so if I like make it a bit harsh, because if you do it too harsh, then it's really obvious. But so now you can see it's bringing back all the detail from my layer beneath. Um, so yeah, I mean that that's enough. But then after you've done this, it's worth then checking your threshold layer and seeing if you've like, I don't know, um, kind of gone too far out and it's worth, probably then worth, um, with your erasing and stuff, it's probably worth going back to this layer here, make sure you're not on the mask, and painting it white again. Um, that's just to keep the background completely white. Um, so yeah, then um, it's worth saving it as a Photoshop file and then also saving it as a JPEG or whatever, TIFF.